Shamai. I thought I'd start with some Welsh. <laughs> Shamai to you. Um, is it Welsh. Helen or is it Helen? Because I know some Welsh Helens go by Helen, but is this Helen? Yeah. Oh, so Sam, I'm going to have to come very clean about the depth and breadth of my Welshness. Of course. So, um, <laughs> so I was born in Llandovery. Mm -hmm. Is that how you would say it? That's how I would say it. Double L. Llan. Yes. Llan. Um, but, and then when people say, so how, um, how old were you when you left Wales? Mm -hmm. And I have to say six months. Ah. So I wasn't, so I wasn't there for very long. <laughs> ah. But you can, that still counts. I, I'm still taking yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. No, uh, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased that works for you. So, Helen, uh, firstly, let's just address uh, your, your backdrop. It's way cooler than mine. I, I've got a, a baby <laughs> photo of mine right there. I'm Aww, in my friend's house. Cute. Um, let's talk about the Comedy Women in Print Award. I know, do I, do I look the same? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Um, is that you or is that your baby? No, no, that's that's me. That is that's me when I was younger. Oh, a picture of yourself on the wall. I like. Yeah. Well, I can compete because, but I haven't got a picture of myself as a baby. But this is one of the backdrops I take around with me at literary festivals in case people don't know what I've done. Mm -hmm. So I just it's got lots of photographs of me to remind them. I've still got to put way more career shots on my wall to actually yeah, match it, yeah. Match it with yours. Um, but yeah, Helen, yeah. <laughs> tell me about the Comedy Women in Print Awards. Well, the Comedy Women in Print Awards, we're just coming to the end of year two. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought of it five years ago. So I feel as if I've just been living, breathing Comedy Women in Print. Um, because I wrote a comedy novel called Losing It. And I, I looked around for a prize to win. Obviously, what else don't mm -hmm. we all? And there wasn't one for witty women authors. Um, and it's just, I just thought, shall I? Shall I? And then I did. And I, I, I have been doing it more or less ever since because it, it's quite complicated, actually, mm -hmm. running a prize. I mean, it sounds, you know, oh, there you go. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's taken over my life. But it's very, very important because um, we are shining a light on witty women's writing. And there's loads of it out there and, and there was no prize before. Why was it important for you to do this? Um, bitterness, I think. <laughs> bitterness about my lack of visibility. Um, I think it was important to me at this age, um, looking back in the 80s when I began as a stand-up, Mm -hmm. um and i i didn't i don't i don't remember there being that many or any initiatives or or inclusivity and places where you could go and say i'm a writer i'm a stand up comedian um and get the support that in fact is there now yeah so um but i still feel that so there's part of me that is angry that there wasn't more uh, visibility angry that there wasn't more visibility um and just wanting to widen a platform yeah. um, of, of of comedy women's writing and you know it, this sounds like such an amazing platform for um female comedians um for you how, how did your comedy journey begin what why why did you want to become a stand-up comedian oh. <laughs> Well, it is an odd question, isn't it? It is why, because you meet people and they go, that is the last. So many people go, I could not do it. It's like, you know, you think of the worst thing in, in, the, yeah, in the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, I always think the worst thing in the world for me would be like being on stage naked in front of my parents. I yeah. think to me, I torture myself. I mean, that'd be well, that pretty would bad. Be, yeah. <laughs> it would be pretty bad. So it's quite fun torturing yourself about... Um, but I think this is the way I look at it. That if you remember when you were back at school, and there's always one funny person in the class, isn't there? There's just, there's just, um, and I was fat as well and wheezy. I got asthma, and I had mm. hairband. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I think you kind of know if you've got a funny bone. I yeah. mean, now, nowadays you can do it many ways. You can there's lots of stand-up comedy courses and it's um there's so many more opportunities now but i think i wanted to write and perform since i was 10 
Mm -hmm. So I think you just know that if not everybody gets to do what they want to do either, but it was in my mind that I was really happy. I was really happy writing and creating and annoying my parents and forcing them to see me do things. Um, so it was kind of in me to do it. I don't know what it's like now as an older person. I, I, I still do it, but I don't have the same, um, you know, I think in my, when I was 30, that was when I was think that's a time, an age when you have ambition. Yeah. You know, I that, that kind of, that, that is your focus. And I remember really, really, really wanting it badly. My manager um, is a stand up comedian here in Cardiff. Oh. And he, he taught me, because I, I, I was inquisitive towards it. I, I wanted to know the whole process of what stand-up comedy requires. And yeah. Dan, Daniel Glynn, his name is, he, he taught me that comedy is tragedy plus time. Would, 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 would you agree with that? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's a bit esoteric. Um, tragedy plus time. Does he not mean timing? Oh, isn't, no. comedy, <laughs> isn't comedy about timing? Um, well, they do say that um, what is funny is never far from tragedy. So maybe um, that's partly what your superior stand-up Dan means. Um, I think that people do... I, I don't think it's a particularly normal job. No. And no. So... Um, um, but what's normal? You know, I wouldn't be happy not pushing myself out into a difficult area. I think yeah. I'm made yeah. to do difficult things and then moan about them. So I think we're quite a miserable lot, some of us. Um, but then it's what drives you, I suppose. I, you know, it is an odd job. It's odd. And of course, I don't do it so much at the moment. Running the prize has sort of taken up so much but when I was promoting my book going around all the nice little literary festivals with nice audiences that actually wanted to come and see me that was blissful whereas like on the stand-up circuit you're kind of going in to do your five and ten minutes sandwiched between mostly men and the, and people don't particularly want to see you so yeah. you've got a double whammy of having to prove yourself and so it's quite nice it has been quite nice in, in my later years of of going out and then people clapping that's nice well that's like i'm such an ego it's just <laughs> like like a fit there's a kind of fit i suppose because people wouldn't choose to come and see you if they didn't want to no I tell myself. no and um you know the, the comedy women in print awards what is up for grabs what can you win oh good question so um the winner of the published prize gets three grand Wow. which is quite a substantial amount of money yeah, um, yeah. and a nice sticker which says winner which i think is lovely Sold. have you ever won anything so, um it, I, only my 100 meter swimming uh, badge uh, but you know what i i hold that a uh, pride of place to this day oh gosh yeah it should be on the wall it's, can well, we have well, it on i the need wall, to add some in there <laughs> it's, got, it's got to go on the wall um so, yes, yeah, so I don't think I've I've been nominated um, for the PG Woodhouse, but not I'm not a winner. Or oh, I had a position badge, age ten for standing up straight. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's easy pick bit for some. Uh, so three thousand pounds, and then we have the runner up of the publish. That's a thousand pounds. Very, and then the USB in some circles uh, is the unpublished prize gets published by Harper Collins. Wow. So if you're a, if you know if you're an unpublished author and you have a novel you send in 8000 words and then it and, and a synopsis and then it gets through and then it gets through and then when you win you uh, become published author. That's not bad is it? Not bad at all. Good um, prize. And just finally Helen um if you had any advice for comedians out there who wanted to get involved in the comedy women in print awards mm. what would your advice be uh my advice would be go on the website um because it's got lots of information and i uh, do witty wednesdays on instagram which is a bit of a boast i hope it is witty where i talk to authors get involved in the writing community and write and uh and join next year you know and and to to, to there's, there's no harm in entering your work and it makes you finish you know if you know that you've got to enter something you will complete your novel yeah definitely so just just you know there's nothing to lose but to give it a whirl 
Definitely. Well, um, Helen, I'm going to go repaint my interior decor. Should you? I, uh, I want you I think. to, Sam. I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to change where I do my interview. There's a lovely wall over there. I should have just used that word. Um, but Helen, so. Helen, thank you very much. Oh, Dioch.